but there's a tax correct so you're getting them as a donation but free you, you but then you have a tax and you normally give them out to Kenyans for free for yes. free all right so we'll work on that yeah correct mm -hmm. yeah.
Okay, I'm going to take a few of these so I can lobby my parliamentarians. Yes. So, so maybe you can so open the the uh, uh, being an NGO in this uh, country, we are currently in 10 counties, but Nairobi is our biggest Fine. county. Yes. So we are supporting uh, 12 sites and we do the whole consortium of HIV prevention where we distribute free condoms. But uh, now with the focus of young persons, uh, adolescent girls and boys, we are doing what we are calling the school health program where we distribute sanitary towels uh, for free uh, to school going children. So last year in Nairobi we were able to support two schools for a year. Uh, and those schools were supporting 400 girls. Are you supporting supply. public schools or community based or private? So or those ones were in Madare. Mm -hmm. So they were community based yes. uh, schools within Yeah, Madare that's schools. where we have a huge gap. We yes. only give public schools and as women rep, we buy a few for community. Thank you. But yeah, focus on community based and faith based. Sure. Thank so you. So that we did. And then, uh, apart from the testing, then we have sites where we do care treatment uh, for those who are infected with condoms. So we give. Uh, with HIV. In the event, maybe prevention failed and uh, unfortunately you contracted So these are like retrovirus? So these yes. are retrovirus and also we offer TB care and also we offer that like treatment now and we are very glad that the government has really supported us through cancer and the Nairobi County government. So thank you. So they're giving you the drugs? They give yes. us the drugs for Fantastic. free. Fantastic. Yeah. And you just dispense them to the survivors. Yeah. Right. So actually Kenya, we are currently using I think the best generation of antiviral. Maybe you saw some sites that they were trying to uh, I want ask. you to kept, be captured. <laughs> Tom. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I seen when they when we saw the calling with HIV demanding for more quality and, um, and also test the drugs and amount of this was a drug that demanded. So, so now it's available, not for sale. Yes. Okay, so um, today is World International World Condoms Day, and uh, we're here to celebrate that and also to celebrate the milestones that we've had as a country with our various partners on combating uh, the uh, HIV infections. All right? We haven't won the war. There are still many young people getting infected with HIV, and the reason is. Uh, because uh, of course they're not using protection all right and there are a number of ways to protect yourself but of course the best way to protect yourself from sexually transmitted diseases and HIV is a condom so condoms are readily available by so many partners in Kenya and we'll be linking us uh, uh, the site to many partners um, AHF uh, is one of the partners and they've got many centers in Nairobi so we would like you to visit an AHF center uh, nearest to you and we'll put the list of where all the centers are in Nairobi so that you can actually get your condoms all right they're also providing sanitary towels for free and we will try and support them as well uh, so that you um, you know we know a lot of girls say that oh we we, we got free uh, sanitary towels and that's why we ended up pregnant because the guy this you know gave us the sanitary towels but also took advantage of us so we don't want any girl out there to trade her body for sanitary towels all right it is it's you know you end up pregnant you might end up with an std you might end up with hiv all right and we have the drugs being provided the retroviral drugs in case you've got hiv it's not a death sentence you can leave and you can leave healthy and I can see that the Kenya government has really improved on the quality of care. Uh, some of the drugs that came in the initial stages were quite harsh and a lot of people were suffering when they were taking them. Now we have cancer stocking, the good drugs that are the latest and that actually uh, have little effect on uh, negative effect on the person who's consuming them. So you need to get on your retroviral drugs so you can have a healthy life as you continue being HIV positive. Um, and of course, you need to learn how not to transmit it. So if you know your status, that helps because then you can actually protect the person that you love. And HIV testing is still free of charge, yes. right? So go and get tested. Uh, are we having testing today here? Yes. Right, so I'm gonna get tested, yes. all right? So go get <laughs> tested so that you know your status, all right? And you know, it's better knowing your status than not because you might just end up saving the life of somebody else by not infecting her, all right? As I said, it's not a death sentence. Quality of life might be tough because of all the drugs you have to take. So, you know, while you're HIV positive, do not infect someone else. And the only way you can avoid that is if you actually 
get tested. So um, today is World Condoms Day, right? Condoms are going to be readily available, all right? If you're going to have fun over Valentine, use a condom, all right? Yeah. Global Fund HIV Grant Tents, Exhibition Tents, 